Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's cooking vlog is going to be this mash burger recipe that I found on TikTok. You know the drill. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on the video. And what recipe do you want me to try? It could be from TikTok or, you know, wherever. But anyway, I'm going to show you a quick clip. He had music, so I had to mute it, but... It's not going to look exactly like that, but close enough. And there's the recipe. Keep on watching. Scrolling through TikTok, I have a lot of red meat that needs to be used. I found a recipe called Smash Skillet. And I'm going to link the creator. Oh, let me look him up. I am using Luke, the cooking mindset, cooking mindset. Oh my goodness. So anyway, stick around if you want to see how this skillet turns out. And you just need some cheese, potatoes, and red meat. We don't really need onions and then some spices and ketchup and mayo for the sauce. And we'll get started. I have my Scotty supervising me and licorice is around, but this is magic. I'm going to chop me up some Dutch potato cheese. It's probably a, a little bit more, but it's just me and my husband and hopefully this will be enough for the two of us. I'm done cutting my potatoes. I'm going to put these in a bowl and we'll mix some olive oil. He says to use olive oil, paprika, and we'll season that. I don't think I'm going to do onion tonight, so... Yeah, but your girl has to work with. And it's just me and my husband, dinner for two. Maybe a few leftovers. Ooh, do, 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 a little olive oil. And he said some paprika. Okay, not too much. Then pepper. Pepper. All right. Let's do some salt. I don't know why the camera's not focused. Okay, and then we'll mix her up. Mix, mix, mix. like that. Now it's focused. Yeah. And once it, we're going to put this in the air fryer, y'all. Okay. Yum. Mers. Air fryer. We're going to put it in. Putting it on my, I have a Quiznart, it's like a conventional oven, so I put it on the rack here. Both gonna look like that. That is what she is looking on like. I'll we'll pop it in the air fryer for 20 minutes. Capiche? in the air fryer at 400 for 20 minutes. That's what he calls for in his recipe. This season my skill by me. I can't do it on camera. Let me mail I'll try. Alright, I'm gonna use some Larry salt. That will kill us with the sodium. That will kill us with the sodium. Yeah. My my um, air fryer took maybe five minutes to cook these babies. Look how beautiful. This is still cooking. 
I put a little bit more meat because I don't want it to go to waste. But this is beautiful. It took only five minutes in my in my air fryer. So yeah. We're gonna make fry sauce. The sauce he used is that Utah sauce called fry sauce. We put mayo, ketchup. That's all we're gonna do. Okay? It's so easy. So I got my mayo and then you're gonna put in some ketchup and I'm gonna have to do this off camera. Oh, I just guesstimated and then I'm gonna mix it up and, then, and I'm sorry I have to do this off camera. Hard to, you know, mix with one hand. Oh, well, this is what we call fry sauce. I'm gonna also, I don't have any pickle juice, but I'm gonna add a little Dijon mustard to give it a little zing. The girls have done a really good job being in my way, but yes, well, Put some Dijon mustard in this. Have to do this off camera, but this is what she's gonna look like. What she looks like all mixed in. So, just so you guys know, I did use pepper and I re put a little bit of more salt off camera. These are the potatoes and I'm gonna mix her in. I did empty out the grease sheet with a lot because I used a little bit more meat because I don't want it to go to waste. Okay, this is what she's looking like. Got potatoes in there. It's, he chopped his small. I don't have time for that nonsense. So that's what she's looking like. I'm going to put some cheese and then we'll add a little sauce and it'll be time to serve some dinner. And then you can put it in the oven. And I don't know if this is going to be oven safe for my, but you get the idea. I'm not going to risk it, but put it in the oven to let the cheese melt. All this is nothing fancy. I Zapped it in the microwave to melt the cheese and then drizzled some fry sauce on my skillet. Bon appetit!